Let's start here now with this, this uh, Canadian goose, can we? Jim Feely is a master woodcarver, an ordained minister, a graphic artist by profession, does this as a <laughs> hobby. But come over here, will you, uh, Jim, this is amazing. How many hours of work in carving this? This took about 800 hours oh. to carve. And how many and pieces do you use? Well, uh, several pieces, like the neck, for example, is one, two pieces of two by four clamped together and then uh, glued and then carved afterwards, which is inserted into four pieces of wood for the body. The body is hollow. And then the wings are sectioned off into three sections of flat pieces of one by 12. And then the feathers are drawn on it and then carefully carved off. There are over 800 feathers on both wings, tops and bottom. It is such a piece of art. What would this sell for? This will go between um, 950 to $1,000. And well worth it. All right, we showed you earlier this eagle. I mean, just once again, look at the intricacy here. How many pieces of wood for this? The base, naturally, is one piece. Right. The legs are two pieces separately. The body itself is one huge piece of cedar, and the wings, two wings are one piece. Now, the head, as in my other carvings, whenever you're coming to a delicate piece like the tongue or beak, because the grain is running in that direction, has to be put on separately. So the head itself has to be cut, put on separately in order that the grain would follow the lines of the beak and, and, then, and then mount it onto the um, body afterwards. Well, we're about to show you how Jim began, but we wanted to, let's refresh your memory. We started this show showing you that Jim took an ordinary piece of, what kind of wood is this? This is basswood, one of the softest woods. Basswood. He drew his uh, sketch for his bird. He then cut it. Here we go. And he's worked all the, through the show on this. And it's not quite finished, but for mounting purposes to show us, showing us now how it would look, right? That's it. This wing is finished. That wing is finished. Uh, you can see the, uh, this, this whole bird is done with nothing but gouges. All you see is a shape of a seagull and a form. There are no details such as the eye or the feathers or anything like that carved. Uh, that is another type of carving altogether. Mm -hmm. This is just basically to show the form. And we didn't show you how the head is made. Now, let me hold this up. This is a piece you would cut this out now, right? That is a piece of block wood, and then uh, you would uh, draw the top view of the bird's uh, head, and then you would draw the side view like that. And then with a bandsaw or something, you would cut, the, you would cut that shape out. Now, if we go to the bird's uh, head here, I'll just unscrew the head, you can see that this is what was, is done from that block of wood. Mm -hmm. And a hole is drilled on both sides of this and the bird's body. A, a dowel is placed in it, and this is snapped on and then And then glued, glued of course. All right, let's, let's move on here, Jim. The very first carving you did, and it was with a very simple tool, is this one here, right? This was just a small piece of cedar that, I, um, that fell off the uh, table saw as I was sewing it and was building a house. And I looked at it, and the top of it formed sort of a feather, so it gave me an idea of an Indian. I saw an Indian in a book that I liked, and I uh, traced, literally traced. You do not have to be an artist to be a woodcarver. You can, you can take, trace. You can trace. And uh, with a piece of carbon paper or anything like that on the flat piece of surface, you can trace your image. And then with an X-Acto blade, and that's all I carved this with, just cut directly into the lines following it. We just lost a light. <laughs> that's what that was. But everybody's all right. OK. And because then I talk so high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's now, this is the now, finished product. That's the finished product. Now, that, that is done from a, just a regular board it's like this wood. here that you can find in your garage or in your basement. And then the, uh, you, you trace the image on here. Right. And then, fi and then finally. Look at this. You, uh, now, this is not yet finished, cover. right? Is it? That's finished for demonstration. Model. For demonstration purposes. All right, but now look at this other then, owl here. Can I hold that up right in front right, of this? Go right ahead. Okay. And that owl is basically the same with the wood in the background taken off. The back is flat, so it can go up against the wall. This is a bar relief carving and a, uh, uh, a piece of wood put in the background. And this is burned. So it's uh, unlike being painted. You know, I've loved needlepoint and other crafts, but could, I mean, I also know that from trying this, that there's some strength involved in digging this out. Uh, can, can someone who isn't as strong as you get involved in this? One of the rules is that you have a very, very sharp tool. Let's hold all three of these up. Okay, are these, these are the three, three basic basics? tools is a regular wood chisel, a skewer, and a gouge. Now, the gouge would be used to dig most of the wood out, and mm -hmm. you get those uh, dug appearances. The chisel would be to cut straight into it, and the skewer would be mostly to carve along the sides. You know, Jim, uh, Donnie, let's get one shot of this beautiful bird up here. Just in the end, I know we're running out of time, but the, the movement on that is so amazing. Now, how long did it take you from your beginning days to get to be able to do that? Well, this is one of my first pieces. It took me about 300 hours to carve this. Oh. Uh, this was one piece. This wing is one piece of wood, two by six. This piece is, as it curves out like this, naturally has to be uh, wedged together. So this is about seven pieces of wood. The body 
is uh, a two by four, and this is a two by four. Now, unbelievable work. And Jim says that there are lots of books on the market, but that this one is an example how to carve wood. If you are a beginner and you want to know all the things that Jim has talked about, then perhaps you should go out and get one of these books. But Jim Feely, keep up the good work. What an Thank art you. form. Nice to know you. Thank you so much. Ordained minister, does so many things. <laughs> Beautiful work.